And the results are? I can't do this. Quality time. What? Quality time. What the Ooh. fuck? Okay. All right. <laughs> is the Bill Squire Show. He's checking his dial. Welcome to the Bill Squire Show. I'm Bill Squire. What knob? What are you doing? What knob are you checking? There's pants. What knob? There's what pants. There's Tommy. Look how summery we are. I know. It's so summery in here. It's hot out. It is. It's finally hot out. It's humid. That's humid. gross. It's going to be it's good. a little moist. Pretty much everywhere, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. It's going to be me. That's a, <laughs> that's a, in sync. I got a little yep. in there. <laughs> in sync. A little in sync in the stinky. Can you give me that? I feel like I need that now, too. I don't know what happened. I, dude, I have like bad. I have a bad thing where, like, since I don't, like, drink during the show because I don't yeah. want to pee, like, when Aaron was here with seven minute stories, every 20 seconds, I was like, <laughs> you gotta do something with your hands. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't like. Uh, yeah. Because I was like, because there was two other people here, and I was like trying to occupy my fucking stupid <laughs> life to not walk over everyone's fucking words. Right. Well, you did a good job. That was a good episode. Anyways, my hands are COVID free now. More That's importantly. Good. And last week's episode was good. We've been doing good numbers. So thank you, everybody that's been listening and interacting and, and stuff. Uh, appreciate you. Ah. Uh, what? Thanks for all my exes for voting that I, in fact, am blind to flag colors. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't just Every all your exes. You was, was, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could actually see who voted. Oh, yeah? No, I can't. I can't. Wait, you can't? No, in that when you do it on the reels polls, oh, you can't Lame. see. Oh, I thought it was you a story actually don't poll. know who's voting do right now. That's story. better. Dude, I, like, yeah. I think I that's know. better. You oh. hate me. It's just like, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Tommy's like, I want to know who's voting. No, yeah, you want to know. What am I fucking saying? Yeah, yeah, no, what was, what last I checked, it was 75% of the voting public thought I had no fucking clue about uh, what color any flags were. Let me, let me see where it's at. Oh, yeah, at. let me just get a live look. Yeah, we're going to live, live look. Live look. Let's take a look. Live. Hold on. Why am I, why do I not know how to work Instagram? The thing that I'm always on. Um, I don't, when I actually have I wish to. I could see if Kyle Kinane voted against, voted for it. Hey. Uh, it is 79 to 21. Percent. I don't think I'm pulling this one. Well, yeah. Do I even care though? Is the thing. Maybe I just don't know myself. Maybe you don't. Maybe I don't know what love languages I speak. What do you think your love language is? Uh. Um, should we take a love language test? I did. Uh, yeah. Ooh, we that. should. Yeah, actually, yeah. No, yes. let's, let's, yeah, don't don't let me fucking a, fumble my way through this one. I know it's not an answer, but memes. I fucking love memes. I made a meme. Oh, listen, I I've. <laughs> I mean, Danny was because yeah. of memes. Everybody else that's going to, like, memes are a big flirt tool. Yeah. Well, like, the only thing that dating apps ever did for me was it gave me fodder to come up with content for my clients. Right. Like this morning, I have. The great, great. Yeah, like, Six Shooter Coffee's my client. They won't mind me saying that. Actually, they'll probably love the free tag. Sorry, mm-hmm. Will. Um, <laughs> no, that's fine. Absolutely. <laughs> so I did, like. I'm not paying you. You can tag. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's uh, I, I came up with a meme. Because I love looking at, like, just the most shameless, thirsty, inspirational meme makers out there that are clearly just trying to get pussy, and then I like yeah. putting my own spin on it. So, like, I just came up with one for Six Shooter that says, don't send her good morning text, send her money for coffee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I hit send for Six Shooter. Then I got, like, 20 shares immediately and shit. So yeah. then I had, you know, someone in my DMs that I sent them coffee money too i also did that <laughs> you're welcome buddy i bought someone a little breakfast today there All you right, go go ahead and take you're gonna take the love language test oh boy oh jeez you, know, you know it's like one thing like if that if this were back in the day i'd be like be careful with that computer i jack off to it but those days are long over phone it's baby. phone baby yeah, I, don't, I, don't I don't do don't. dinosaur arms anymore with the <laughs> <laughs> that would be so miserable. I wanted yeah, like no, a throwback no, so. jack off experience of being like on the family beige computer waiting till everyone goes to bed. That would uh-huh. be like that would nostalgia be like the looking at Sable's tits from her Playboy spread. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was what did it for just me, man. Waiting for that 56K to catch up yeah. to my imagination. I was just talking to All somebody right, so about uh, strip no. poker. Did you guys ever see that? It was like on uh, oh, yeah. Spike or something yeah. like that. Right. I was so young. I always yeah. thought somebody would get naked and they never, never did. did no. They never did. 
upset. So yeah. upset. Uh, all right, so all right. I, do, do I just want to click start here? Yeah, I believe that's how you take. Okay, so I'm on the, test. the love language quiz for couples, singles, teens, and children. I'm one what? of those. <laughs> what? How do you describe yourself? I Do you want me to just w- read my way through this? Yeah, okay. I kind of do. Okay, how do you describe yourself? I am an adult. I'm a teenager. I am taking the quiz for my child. I'm an adult. How do you describe yourself? Just read your answer. We don't need I'm single. Answers. Sorry. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when... And we will discuss... As well, to so it's not just someone I love sends me a loving note, text, email for no special reason. Someone please send me a sext email. I've never gotten one of those. It's more meaningful to me when. So this is, I can spend alone time with someone I love, just us. All right. Why don't you just take this and Tommy and I will talk? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. This because I thought it was going to be a little more. It's like long. This is like some SAT shit. Yeah. I think it's real long. But what is, what would you say your love language is? What are the options? Well, I think it's like gifts, uh, touch, like physical touch. Okay. Uh, affirmation, like. Uh, you know what? I'm quality sorry. Quality time. I don't know. Why I'm asking you. I just took this because somebody else asked me. Why. Uh, there's <laughs> not there's not been one mention of like ass eating yet on this quiz yet. So <laughs> I think that's physical touch, bud. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't gotten Although, there yet. No, well, no. The, the, the physical, the, the anticipation of the ass eating is almost better <laughs> than the ass eating. <laughs> uh, no comment. Oh, I still uh, can't find it. What were the other options? Uh, I don't know. I think it's quality time. Quality time. Yeah, I think quality time's in there. Let this me... is like the most Hallmark movie ass PG shit. It's Would in, you expect him? Yeah, well, quality like, no, time. The, it's quality time. All the time. options, like all the questions, like the options they give you are like so similar that it's that's yeah. yeah. That's how you know a test is bullshit. Honestly. <laughs> so you yours well, is quality like, time. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Like not to cut up, cut in real quick, and I'll shut up after this. It says it's more meaningful to me when, and here's the options: I receive a gift from someone I love, or I hear from someone that I love that they love me. Well, there's some people that is that's there's a huge dis- distinction where it's like the I get words a gift of from affirmation them, like, versus uh, gift giving. Yeah, so that's different. See, hmm. Oh man, he's blind to more than just. I know flags. he's blind to he, love. He's blind to. I think we're blind to love. Real quick. Well, I'm saying hi. How you doing there? How you doing? Oh, hi. Hi. There with the <laughs> <laughs> that guy was not happy about my way. He was not. <laughs> he was walking a little too far away from her, man. Yeah. Rick, Rick fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> that guy was definitely named Rick. Um. So there was uh, <laughs> these two girls. I don't. I, I don't know if they're going to the game or what tonight. Also, oh fuck, that is my ex girlfriend across the street. Wait, which one? Oh wait, never mind. I guess you don't. <laughs> last one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like this. There's a lot of action in some. The last episodes. one? Not like the last one. That's that's Sam. That's not Danny. No, it's not. It's like, like the one before Danny. Oh. I believe that's her. I don't know. She'll what an interesting day. Here. What is right. happening? <laughs> it's summer. Things are weird in summer. So quality time is your like, yes, favorite yeah. thing. Yeah. So that's the thing that's most important. But also yeah. you're a person that really enjoys your alone time. Yes. So I kind of am surprised by that. But Perfect. you just want when you are spending time with that person for it to be like, we're gonna maximize this. Yes, yeah. 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 Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. No, that's not her. She's smoking a cigarette. And- yeah, I don't I was about to say that's not her. Yeah. Whew. So hey, what's up? <laughs> she, is, she is dressed like a bad kid from two thousand one. <laughs> well, that is how d- she yeah, dressed. Yeah. So like, uh, yeah, she we're dresses all over the like place. Skater Boy is still her favorite song. Exactly, which is kind of cool. It is. Uh, what what? Okay, so I think mine is acts of service. You like when people do something for you? I love when people <laughs> do things for me. <laughs> and I think that's a lot of guys are that way because our moms took care of us and our moms are the women that loved us the most. So when it's like acts of service, we're like, like, if, I mean, it doesn't have to be like a big thing. It, it can be like a little thing. Like if you uh, just like throw a piece of garbage away from the car that like I, didn't you throw have, like yeah. that that means a lot to me uh you know just i don't want to say like tidying up and like cleaning up but like that's a big thing because i hate doing it so if somebody else does it for me yeah i feel great uh or just like 
administrative things. Basically, I don't want like to do anything. Helping to take stress off of you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Anything that takes stress off of me <laughs> makes me go, ah, I love that. And uh, when they don't do that, it adds stress. Because it's not like I'm not capable of doing it. But then there's the like, the opposite of acts of service is making I'm making you do extra stuff. Extra stuff. Yeah, I got I'm you. I'm not cleaning up after myself. I'm not uh, taking care of things that need to be taken care of. That's when, like, that's why I appreciate the acts of service so much because I know how annoying it gets when you're not pulling your weight. Right. Did this just, okay. <laughs> Did you get an was, answer? I think I, like, cycled in. Okay. Yes. Did you get your love language? Okay. So before I tell you the results. We will guess. But do you have five options? Do you okay. know what the five options yes, are? Yes, let's get the five <laughs> options. Okay. The five options are receiving gifts. Yep. Acts of service, words of affirmation. This is the most culty sounding shit ever. <laughs> Physical touch and quality time. Okay. Ooh. So you want you want to go? You want to guess? I'm gonna guess physical touch. I uh, yeah, physical touch is a good guess for Aaron, <laughs> but I'm gonna guess words of affirmation. This, okay, so that was gonna be my first one, <laughs> but then said physical touch, and I'm yeah. like. Oh, and the results are? I can't do this. Quality time. What? Quality time. What the Ooh. fuck? Okay. Right. The man's got a fucking heart. Oh, uh, so it was only, <laughs> it was 32% quality time, 29% physical touch. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Where, 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 where was the uh, words of affirmation at? 19%. Man. So I basically, wow. I just want to yeah. be in bed got, with someone a lot. Yeah, you got the game. quality one. time and physical yeah. touch. What did you say? <laughs> you got the gay one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and receiving gifts, 0%. 0%? So, like, words of affirmation and acts of service. Your mom must have actually loved you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I was I was raised fucking, I don't need any stuff. And then words of affirmation and acts of service both tied at 19%. That's crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely there you have it. I'm just looking for someone to do shit with me, apparently, and also sex. You're looking, so there you go. You're looking yeah. for a ride or die. Yeah. yeah. A slammer. Yeah. A true ride slammer. Or die, slammer. A slammer forever. No, there you go. All right. All right. Can we do it again? Should we have Tommy officially take it? I mean, I can take it again if you want. It, but dude, that no. honestly was blending my brain because every it was like 90 so, questions yeah. and they were all kind of the same. Yeah, we don't need that. I, I, I'm pretty sure mine is uh, acts of service and words we of know. affirmation. Yeah, apparently I don't need anyone to do shit for me. Words of words of uh, uh, affirmation is is big for me too. Can yeah. we call it yeah. something else? Like words of affirmation, we sound so culty, or like it's just like, uh, like praise kink. Yeah, like that might be a bit of it. Yeah, <laughs> just call it that. Like words of praise affirmation. Kink. I don't need someone to tell me I'm tight. I know I'm tight. It's not. It's not necessarily that they're telling you they're tight, but they're just like reminding you that you are important and that you're loved and stuff like that. I think I like it's more that, that, but not to, like, the over, like, just too much. I don't I like just, it overpowering. No, I just like someone well, go, hey, do you want to go drive to the middle of nowhere and get a hot dog, and then you can scratch the back of my head. Like, so, that's yeah. all I require. So Danny and I used to do a thing that was, like, it started off cute, and then it got, like, to a point where I didn't like it anymore. But it was kind of like our thing, so we just kind of had to go with it. So it was like we'd kind of act like we were saying one thing, and then we go, like, I'd, I'd be like, oh, hey, um, I was going to do this, but uh, did you want to be in love forever? And, like, that's that was, like, this cute little thing that we did. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was, like, kind of cute because we'd, like, try and trick each other yeah. into not seeing it coming. But then it just became, like, such a thing that it kind of lost its pizzazz. Maybe it's also because the relationship was losing its pizzazz. Yeah, yeah that latter. was probably it. That is yeah. a cute. Thing. It is very yeah. cute. It's yeah. very also, it like, real cute. I mean this respectfully. That that sounds sickeningly cute. Yes. Well, I yeah. mean we had a lot of that stuff. Like, <laughs> no, you know when you're in love when everybody around you is thoroughly annoyed by the things you do. Uh, oh yeah. So, so oh, we yeah. did a thing. Like one day I got a real good with it, and I came in like kind of like amped up, and I was like, "Hey, just so you know." <laughs> Like that, and Aww, I was like, "Oh, see, I love it." And then she was like, "What? What did I do?" And I was like, "Oh, do, do you want to be in love forever?" And like, I'm really. I didn't say that. I said like, "I'm really happy, and I really, I love you a lot." And she was just like, oh, "Okay," but like, she was like, that. "Like, but I hit her real hard with that." <laughs> can't just, wait to can't wait to say that on my first Tinder date with somebody. Just so you know. <laughs> 
Was she like at them? Lisa, just so you know, and then like her name is actually Michelle or something <laughs> fucked up, you know. That's uh, so because she lived with me. I'm giving her a few things that I had because I wanted a new couch anyway. So I'm just giving her my couch, which leads me to a hunt for a new couch. And I like the worst couches because the couches that I like are the console couches with the recliners. Oh, with the cup holders in them and shit. Holders and they got the plugs so you can charge. They're the tackiest, but they're comfortable and they're functional. You really are embarking a new chapter of bachelorhood here, aren't you? <laughs> Fucking, you want the one with like the, the little cubby that's the fridge? Yeah, kind of. Oh, fridge yeah. with the lights under at the bottom. Yes. Yeah. But there's. I don't see a problem with this, to I be don't honest. Either, yeah, why not? I mean, Tommy, from you have a woman's a pop- point of view, you go into a dude's house and he has that. What are you thinking? I'm going to have to send you guys a picture of my couch. Oh, do you have one of those? We have like a uh, sectional that's got some sections. <laughs> <laughs> that recline. <laughs> so you're, like I don't some fucking bars. care. So you're yeah. on board for like comfort over. Oh, oh yeah. Like aesthetic or looks or anything yes. like that. Because there's nothing. I don't care how good a couch looks. If you can't fucking fall asleep on it and I like, want to take a nap on my couch. Yeah. Like uh, being able, like even the couch that I have right now, is kind of like like it worked out because I had a puppy. So it's like that, like kind of vinyl-y leather mm-hmm. stuff, like fake leather. So it cleans up real easy, but falling asleep on it, you stick to it. How long? How long? Have oh. you, how many miles have you put on that couch? How, how old? It's is going it? on four years. Okay, so it's like, yeah, it's you. You could justify move upgrading from that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it was like a, I, I get a deal from a local couch. Distributor. Look, I'm not trying to be that guy. I've seen your couch. It yeah. does not seem like a five thousand dollar investment. Right. I know. Yeah. Safe. Exactly. And the, yeah. the, these other ones are like. Because again, a five thousand dollar couch. A lot of them that I see don't look that comfortable. Right. They're just style. No, the less comfortable they look, the more commas involved in the purchase for sure. Yeah. And so, do you I ever see a twenty thousand dollar couch? It fucking sucks. You don't even want to sit. Like, it's. I think it's designed that way so you don't sit on it and right. fuck it up because it looks so un like uncomfortable. Uninviting. Yeah. It's just so I'm going. I think I'm gonna go the like basically gamer man. Do it. <laughs> Uh, couch, or maybe I'll just get a bunch of game game chairs. <laughs> now let's. Now we're talking. Okay. You, you really don't want to do that. You couch really want to be doing some sex having. Couch sex on the gamer chairs. Game I gamer do, chairs. You can do oh, gamer chair come on, sex. No. No. I mean, you could do masturbating on gamer. Yeah, chairs. that's that's but, bad. I, I, I think you can. You can have sex on anything if you really try. <laughs> I, but okay, you but know that's a good point. I don't want to be victim of a limiting belief, though, yeah. and you're right. So what if what if I do a love seat and a gamer chair? Now is that that then I can get the console and everything like that. Also, the the console ones aren't going to be great for sex, sex either. either. You well, no, because they're designed one. like homeless people can't sleep on them because they have the arms. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. The yeah, it's going to be like a little movie theater, <laughs> but, and I'm sure I can find one that like the arms go up and everything like that. But then it's still like. <laughs> No, it's still not it's like still not the same. Yeah, man, it's not. It's it, it's uh, you, you gotta you gotta. But I got a bed for <laughs> sex, and I got like I do. I hand to God, I've had sex on my couch once. Oh, really? Once. So I had a actually. Real yeah, I don't bed think sex. I have a lot of dude. The yeah. bed, the either. bed is where it's at. Bed, bed for sex. Look, I'm not bed a small guy. Sex. I need room to maneuver. Yeah, like you know, it's like a it's like a wrestling ring of horniness. <laughs> so here's another got moves thing: moves and things to do. What do I do? I I, I I think I'm done with coffee tables. I think. <laughs> Same, honestly. I, like, I have my I end tables. I kind of hate it. it. Well, you have a dining room table, way. don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. you know. Unless... And so, like, I think I'm going to, like, abandon some societal norms and get rid of my coffee table, give it to to her. Go roll the same page. Well, also, like, if you're getting getting the um the virgin couch with the with the consoles, you don't need <laughs> you don't need it. right. That's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah, like, and uh, maybe I bet they have one where they got like that little desk that'll come out. Oh. Probably, <laughs> if not, you can buy one. The, the, the swivel the yeah. swivel desk. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. that would be that would be. I mean, to be very honest, too, man. If I'm just chilling there, like watching like Netflix, like I would. I, it's like an airplane setup where it's like your food's right there. Your anyways. food's right there. You yeah. got your TV. You got your phone can sit right there, yeah. dude. Yeah, with okay, a charger. I'm on board. Yeah, I'm oh, on board. come on. 
Yeah, I, 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 think... I fully back your new journey on I'm this. I'm here for it, too. Yeah. And I can't wait to throw my fucking couch away. I've had it for like eight years, and the next time I move, I've just made the decision. It's, it's, it's done, yeah. destined for the tree lawn. So I've had a good amount of sex on that couch, uh, considering it was only for four years, and I had only one year where I was single with it. And the, so I had two, like a year with a girlfriend, a year with another girlfriend, and we... We had some sex on there. The first girlfriend, we'd have sex on that a lot until we got whoopsie. And then once I got whoopsie. Yeah, dogs definitely change, yeah, change the dynamic things. of that. Like, but uh, Unless you're very weird. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I think the, I think I'm going to go with the virgin couch, as we're calling it. The virgin couch. Virgin couch. The, um. The fedora couch, we'll the call fedora, it. No, <laughs> the fedora. I, I, Bill, somehow I, I have a feeling no matter how virgin your couch is, you'll do just fine. Regardless. I think so. <laughs> so it'll, be, it'll be all right. Because then it, that becomes the like, it's, it becomes it's a conversation the talking point. piece. Yeah. yeah. I go, why would you get this couch? Well, sit back and relax. And I put the chair back, turn on some of the massagers, and they're like, okay, yeah. I get why you got this couch. Oh, yeah, then you don't, like, you're basically getting out from having to do, like, the foot rubs and the back rubs if you get the massage I couch. like to do those things, though, but, I mean, it's just, it's more of just the, uh, it, it, it'll be funny. It'll be, like, they'll get into it. You don't? Do you not like to do the foot rubs and the back rubs? I love doing those. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to. There's a lot of things I want technology to replace in my life. That's not one of them. Yeah, same. Because there's nothing better than the platonic massage that turns into sex. There's a platonic massage. I was gonna say it, it's <laughs> never platonic. That's exactly. What it is. <laughs> but you're like, you know, you start out that way, like, well, yeah. Oh, you the massage, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get to the legs, and then you start touching the butt a little bit. Yeah, it's not like me and the homies this. are talking about the brown <sighs> sucking, and then like, hey, bro, like your arches need some fucking some rubbing. There, yeah. Like, bring them over here. Let me see those tootsies. No, yeah. it's kind of just like the opening band to sex. Mm -hmm. So. And it's it's. Foreplay, play, foreplay. It's what's that? Foreplay, foreplay. But it's like, what is? What would you call foreplay before? I, the I foreplay? think that's that is foreplay. I think that it's just regular foreplay, but it's like kind of the best foreplay. Okay, yeah. I think it's like a letter of intent for foreplay. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I think it's part of the foreplay. That I, I mean, um, yeah, I think it's splitting hairs, but mm -hmm. I just like giving unhorny words, hornier terms. I'm trying to redefine love in the modern age. <laughs> we know you are. We know you are. But when it comes down to it, after the test, you're just a big old love boy. <sighs> it turns out I'm just a big old sap. Mm -hmm. The numbers don't lie. They do not. All right. So I'm just trying to picture this. So I get the, the couch with the recliners. Uh, I... Uh, do I do throw pillows on it? Do I do blankets? Anything like that? No. No, no you're on the virgin couch? Yeah. It's all taken care of for you. Okay. Yeah, that's not an accessory couch. Okay. You, like... You just leave it as That is. comes stock. You're yeah. not putting aftermarket parts on that. Got it. You want to buy the fancy $4,000 couch? You want to go to, like, West Elm? Yeah. Or, I'm, I'm not rich enough to know the other places, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you can get into like the not throw pillows. Northeast Factory and... Direct. <laughs> no, <Brian. laughs> dude, I was so I was so broke when I got my first couch when I was living on my own again, and so like it was like an eight hundred dollar couch, yeah. right? It's the one I have now. So like I basically just took out like they have like the most predatory possible loans yeah. through those things. Mm -hmm. So they go. All right, so like we go, no money down, but you have to pay this off like in sixty days, and they go, or what? They go, we start charging eighty percent interest. Oh That's my God. And then like he goes, and the guy like for as like sketchy as the whole setup was, he looked at me, he goes, he like shoved the paper, he goes, I just want you to be very clear. That's the terms, and I go, I don't know, man, eight hundred bucks in sixty days, ah, tall order. And then I paid that bitch off. Yeah, like mm. good for you. We ate ramen for a few weeks just because I did not. <laughs> Need just on general principle eighty percent interest yeah, that's, on eight hundred bucks. Insane. Great couch though. Still yeah, got it. Still got it. That's uh yeah. It uh, was definitely yeah, a I know, I, couch I, for a I'm going to pay cash. <laughs> like, I don't, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't got to finance my uh, two thousand dollar virgin couch. Yeah, is that what it costs? The the, the, the higher one? one end ones that I've been looking at are like around that's, there. That's a pretty good deal, honestly. Yeah, because those things are comfy. Like for all they're the, very the clowning yeah. it. Like yeah, if you get down to brass tacks, that's the one I'd rather sit in. That's what I want to sit on is a, a good couch. I if I can't, like I I sit on my couch a lot. 
So I want to sit on my couch <laughs> and enjoy it. It's just Hi. Yeah, she comes How are you doing? Show you us your jump. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got that discussion taken care of. Uh, excuse I'm, me. I'm pretty happy with how that went. I was, I, I always think you guys are going to zig and then you zag. I thought I was going to, especially Tommy, I thought you were going to be like, no, get a, like a, Sexy couch. It's like a horny couch that girls no, are gonna yeah. be like. But no, no. Yeah. Tommy's right kind of you. more of like a dude than both of us in a lot of regards. I am. Yeah. 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 So I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Cause like as much as I like cool, nice design guy stuff. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, like if the aesthetics to it are really nice, the chances are that it's ergonomic and comfortable. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> right. Did you ever? Did you ever try to sit like in a Lamborghini? No, oh, it's terrible. I mean, I have. It's terrible. It's, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's fast, yeah, but yeah. it's not like you're not chilling. Not a comfortable in there. ride. My, um, my friend, my friend Nick might disagree with that, but well, he but he loves that. Well, and he has one. Yeah. So and so then he's no, got no disrespect. He, to so him he's got to convince car. himself that he loves it. Well, he's like, know, this is very, no, he loves that yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the funny bus is going by. Uh, all right. Hi, funny bus. I my nephew's in town for a couple weeks, and so I'm gonna spend Sundays with him, so he doesn't have to get pressured by my parents to go to church. That's so nice we of you. we went to, but I also don't really know him that well. He grew up in Idaho, and he's 18 years old. So like, I don't know what to talk to this kid about. What do you talk to an 18 year old boy about? Is he like a Jesus fearing guy? No, he. They, so my brother, that is his dad, left the church about. Uh, a decade ago, so, so he, he was a little kid when they left. And so you like, don't have to like treat him with kid gloves. No, when it comes no, no, to stuff like that. No, but I also like don't know the line of like, like I can't get him drunk and high. He's eighteen. Take him to the strip club. That's what Mary said. It was taken to the strip yeah, club. Yeah, I mean that's kosher, yeah. legally speaking. I mean, yeah. but also we hang out during the day. Do you want to, to to a Sunday afternoon strip club? <laughs> no, well, I've done it. Um, yeah, I was say, <laughs> that's how you the love of your life. <laughs> um, uh, I, I think no. I mean, you got to do shit with them at night too, right? I mean, yeah. We, Take them to like um, some like a Dave and Buster's or like somewhere where there's like games and shit. So like right now we're playing disc golf. We played disc golf. That was pretty fun. Or yeah, like top golf. Yeah, top golf's a great one. I'm gonna, you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring him to play top golf, but then I'm gonna have some some friends there too. Yeah. So, hey guys, you want to do top golf with my nephew sometime? Sure. I've never done top golf. The only kind of golf I want to play is when I can just whack balls and I don't have to chase after them. That's that. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm I've never done that. top golf either, so I have no idea. Also, how there's go. booze, and I'm allowed to drink it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Say exactly. I've gone, but exactly. not. Hit uh, balls. Let me let me show you what he looks like. Cause he's like a fucking handsome dude. <laughs> like you're not gonna believe. Like look at this kid. Yeah, good. A handsome kid. He's a very handsome kid. He's like six foot two, six foot three. He's a tall. Yeah, dude. take his ass to the strip club. Take him yeah. to the strip club. You know, very stoic, very quiet dude. But oh, so oh, that'll be a fun strip we'll club. We'll see about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. quiet guy. So, we'll, but he does. Yeah, you can't be. I mean, you could be the cool uncle and s- slip him a beer here and there, but, but I mean, I would never do that. Yeah, uh, I mean, <clears throat> I mean <laughs> I'm just saying, my 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 nephews are way too young for me to entertain any sort of thoughts right. of that. All right, so they love the I strip think club. We'll, we'll, we'll we'll do that. They're five and eight years old. Well, <laughs> well they're just like, oh, we like climbing on these poles. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a challenge because they're slippery. There's so <laughs> many glass blocks everywhere. Uh, the lighting in here, it's like laser tag. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll start with Top Golf. We'll do that. Yeah. And uh, bring, you know, you guys can meet us out there and uh, get some, maybe. I think he's got a girlfriend, though. So I don't think he, like, isn't that interested in. Strip club. I, who, people it's in co- relationships yeah, still I, go. I don't know. No, I'm saying, like, we well, can do the strip club thing, too. But I'm like, I don't think he's going to be, like, some, like, womanizer type. Like, where he has, oh, like, an I awakening. See. I think his dick's been wet. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's what Well, I'm yeah, like. if he's got to go back to Idaho. It, yeah. I mean, it's, like, literally no different than taking him to, like, I don't know, like, going to, like, a show. It's like he can't hang out in the back room. Should we call band. my brother and see if he would be mad if I took James to a that strip club? That sounds like some great radio to cook up, for <laughs> sure. For sure. All right, let me. Text message. 
the hell? <laughs> I have like too many. There he is. All right. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, you're on my podcast right now. Uh, you okay with that? Sure. <laughs> so we're, we're talking about things I can do with James, and the thing that people keep saying is, is for me to take him to a strip club. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I, I, I mean, I might do it or might not. I don't think I'm asking for your permission. There's technically no nudity allowed in Ohio. <laughs> yeah, technically. But uh, is that something that you think he would even be like, yeah, let's do it, or is it going to be like, nah? Uh, well, when we were in Panama City... He asked how old you had to be to go to one. <laughs> uh, strip clubs on. Done. Yes. Strip clubs on. Done deal, pal. Done deal. Can this be a podcast trip? <laughs> I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah Tommy. Maybe. Yeah. I love the strip club. All right. That's I all we boobs. needed to know. I, he's an adult. I'm not going to stop him. All right. <laughs> Yay. Good dadding. Good dadding. All right. T talk to you later, man. <laughs> and there you have it. That couldn't have gone better. All He's right. an adult. An adult. Nice. Let him it's adult. Not, and also the fact that he asked his dad how old you have to be to go to a strip yeah, club. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's also like, yeah, it's like going yeah. to see like a show. Like yeah, it's right. not like we're not taking him to a brothel. Right. Yeah. Did you want to go to a brothel? Yeah, we'll see. All right. <laughs> Deal. Uh, okay. Finally, let's talk about this. So they've been working on uh, updating some water mains in my building. So I haven't had water a couple days. Not like a in a row, but like for like a few hours on a few days. Okay. So like one day last week and one day like today, this morning we didn't have water. Okay. Would you rather not have water or electricity? Electricity. You, this the same situation you're living in now. You need to have water or electricity. You're choosing electricity. Yeah, take it. Take take the electricity. Yeah, give, give me the, the water. water. I shower at least twice a day. I I need water. Okay. I love take the water. water. I can go to the gym and shower. Okay. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I can go get like gallon bottles of water. I can I can make do with without water for like what? How long are we talking? Three days? Two days? No, this is just like this is how you live now. Oh, like <laughs> in perpetuity. Yeah. Yeah, man. I I would honestly. I need my electricity. It's like how I make a living. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I mean, water is great. But, but you couldn't just say like, okay, this is where I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep with the, you know, I'll have a candle and stuff like that, but then I'll just get in office and do things there. No, the, the amount of times in a day that I use electricity is markedly more than I use You water. can have, a, you just can't have electricity in your home. You can have electricity. I need, I spend like 20 hours of my day in my house. Yeah. So well, like, I'm saying, like, you could you could have a loophole there where you have your office next door to your house. Mm. No, because even when I'm just chilling on the couch or in bed, I'm staring at my phone, and at some point, I'm going to need to charge my phone. Okay. I'll that use my alone external, is a deal breaker. Or, yeah. hmm? I'll take my external charger. Take okay. it somewhere, yeah. charge it at home. That's what I have to use. That's what I use. You're just, like, charging my it My portable in your car. charger, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have, like, a Howard Hughes amount of bottles of water, like, lining my my bedroom floor anyways yeah. so it's like that's not the concern to me the 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 mortal fear is honestly my phone dying and not having a way to charge it oh, or, see, or, or like I'm, getting I'm, on I'm, my I'm, phone. i get that too i mean i'm more sense. team tommy because like if i'm i don't do all my work at home like i can do all my work i can come here and do it mm -hmm. um and it might actually be better because then it means when i'm home i'm not on my phone not on social media not doing all this dumb shit i'm probably gonna read more uh, I'm gonna have an awesome candle collection, uh, and I need I need my bidet. I need I like I like you know I didn't think about that. The bidet is a big as part a bidet of it. owner that yeah. that is a life changing product for me. Yeah, but I would I'm gonna stick to my guns on this one still because right. I even I mean I I've worked from home for 15 years. Mm -hmm. 
so like the amount of time that I wash my hands every day, sure, it's a lot, but like the amount of time I'm fucking connected to mm-hmm. electricity. Like, then you have to brush your teeth with like yeah. bottles of water. Like, yeah, I just have a so bucket old. of water. It's like camping. Like, Maybe it's I'll like, just chew a lot of minty fresh gum a lot. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like camping constantly. Yeah. I need water. But I'm, like, I'm I mean, team so water. is electricity kind the, of the, too, yeah. the opposite The opposite side to me just would be even more in, of an inconvenience. Yeah. Well, considering your work plays a large factor into it, I get that. But say you're not doing that. You don't need it for work. Is it just because Okay, of let's say if stuff? I had an office. Yeah. He sure. really wants you to change your answer. No, I just yeah, want to no, change I want to... I want to you know, take out some is. variables. Yeah, and see. I feel like- yeah, no, I'm the worst debater because yeah. I'm like, yeah, if if you change that variable and like I I didn't have to work from home, then yes, I would like to have water in my house. Yes, and then well, I guess means- I would learn to read. Yeah, <laughs> well, we all know how to read. We just read our phones. Not I phones. honestly don't yeah. know. I mean, like at this point, I've tried reading pages of an actual book, and I like tune out within. I seconds. fall asleep. I it's- I love it. Like I enjoy it. But I mean, I, just I think fall I would asleep. force myself to like retrain those muscles and yeah. the patience to like flip pages and read. And that's kind of like the the benefit of it. And that's yeah. But should still- we all like try and read a book? Should we do a book club episode? <laughs> <laughs> Should we try? Well, though here I think I I think that would you, honestly, I'll read one part. You read one part. You read one part. <laughs> one that would honestly be great. But well, you would have to read an actual book, right? Like not an ebook, right? Not like yeah, on like your a, tablet, like, oh, like a hard. Copy. I think because part of the, part of the thing about reading an actual book is you're not. You're not on a device where notifications pop up yeah. when you're like there's just you and the book. And I think the challenge should be how many pages can you read? Yeah, yeah like in in Without, or that's the homework for yeah. the week. Yeah. All right. So we each read a book. Read as many pages as you can without. Do I want to write a book report? <laughs> no, you don't have to write a book report. We don't even have to read the same book. We just have to all I read it, for a little bit this week. I honestly think that would be fascinating if we read, we all, like, it doesn't have to be War and Peace le- length, like yeah. six million pages. <laughs> but if we all read a book and then we came and we had to do, like, a three minute live Dissert- essay <laughs> dissertation um, okay. on the book. <laughs> I don't have time to do a book report this week, guys. No. Well, no, I'm, I'm going like to need a month to read a book, like at least. I read the last book I read from front to back was The Road. The last book I read was uh, Secret of Not Giving a Fuck, which was really good. Really I think I read it. that. It's a, it's a good Who book. Who wrote that? Uh, Mark Manson? No, I didn't read that. It was good. It was it's like it was, a self-help book? Yeah, kind of. It's yeah. just like, it's it's basically a conglomeration of a lot of philosophical um like teachings and and just making like, hey, focus on the things that are important, but let all the other shit go. I mean, we, yeah, I mean there's I... so much shit that we're just constantly thinking about that. And I've actually kind of gotten to a place like that on my own, and this was just kind of reinforcing a lot of that stuff because there's so many things that like, you know, people are you're you're always, people are way too worried about what other people think, and I've always done a pretty good job of not caring and just being like i'm just gonna do what i want to do and that's why i'm gonna get the virgin couch <laughs> there there it's a living testament to <laughs> to how you've grown as a person to not give a fuck I, I i actually to be fair i've read a fair amount of like self-help books but when it comes to reading like classical fictional Dude, works I tried or to whatever read heart of darkness and i was like oh, i don't even know what the fuck's happening Dude, I, I was reading like trying to read rant by chuck palahniuk and Pal- palahniuk and chuck i was palahniuk, like yeah which is like if you go from just reading Twitter for years and then you try jumping into reading that, yeah, <laughs> I read, I read, um, Choke and I read Fight Club. Fight Club is like short, so that was an. Easy I think Choke read. was the name of the book, actually. Not oh, Rant. Choke, not Rant. I think Rant was a character in Choke. I I don't remember, but I like Choke. I read Choke. I think that's. The book I, but I'm that was also about. I read it in like two thousand five or two thousand six mm-hmm. when I I was like not as addicted to my phone. Oh no! I was full anything. on like I had fully like admi- like just given myself over to the tech universe. Like I was like my brain is just a raisin inside of my skull bouncing around <laughs> at this point. Like, like, mm. like when people actually talk about like politics and actual like intellectual pursuits around me, I'm just like, like just like nodding <laughs> my head like he's totally hundred percent. Yeah, mm-hmm. I haven't looked at tits on my phone in like four minutes. This <laughs> right. is crazy right now. I'm not a Ooh. good person. No, none of us are. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm fine. I'm going to take my nephew to a strip club. <laughs> well, he's uh, 18. Yeah, that's fine. Come back when you take your eight-year-old nephew to strip club. <laughs> uh, 
He has yet to get kicked out of Christie's, so we're going to give it a go this weekend. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Is that the one we're going to do, Christie's? Uh, I mean, that's your go-to, it seems like. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No, we could talk about it off air. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll plan it. I'm gonna be out of town, uh, so it'd Friday and Saturday, so it'd have to be Sunday. Wait. So he's in town. What? Till like the middle of July. Okay. So because time? the fo- next weekend, I cannot do next Saturday. Okay. Like I said, we get, it's a, this we'll is not great yeah, listening. This... We could talk about it off air. <laughs> we'll, we'll get some tits in his face. Get in our planners uh, after the show. Uh, all right. So is that the subject you wanted to discuss? The, that water versus electricity? That was one of them, yeah. Okay. There, I, I, I had four things, and Whoa, the final wow. one. So we talked about what do I do with my nephew? Mm-hmm. Uh, no water or no electricity. Uh, the new couch, and then uh, finally, uh, why does Superman suck so bad? We as saw a, the flash. As a person, we saw the flash on just as a character. <laughs> He's boring. He's so boring. I mean, like, just the idea of Superman in 2023. Yeah, just... you can't create a character in 2023 that's that's got everything. Yeah, it's not interesting. Yeah. So I so we want pants. I saw the Flash. You saw the Flash too, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and they have a bunch of Supermans at the end, and one of them that they kept showing was the Christopher Reeves. I'm like, I haven't watched those movies in a very long time, so I'm gonna go back and and watch some of them. And my God, <laughs> those movies are hot fucking garbage. Um, and I know they are for what they are. Like I, yeah, I, I appreciate yeah. them for what they are. But uh, my brother just texts. He's like, uh, uh oh. <laughs> my his his mom said, uh, it's okay that he goes as long as it's during church. <laughs> I love it. Thought that was gonna get shot down by mom. I know. No. Thanks, mom. Uh, so mom rules. Uh. 80s Superman. 80s Superman, 70s Superman just wasn't, I mean, they didn't have the technology. So, like, I get what they were trying to do a lot of it, but, like, that that first movie, like, his heroic feats are so boring and so lame. But it was at a time when that stuff was, like, was you cutting, hadn't seen it on screen Yeah, those yet. cutting edge visual yeah. effects. Yeah. and it uh, was, I mean, it's like if you watch the first Rocky movie, it's, like, the slowest paced like it's a drag. cinema verite movie of all time, and yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad movie, but I'm saying just we have now lived through what eighty fucking three hundred million dollar budget superhero movies in the year 2023. But that seeps into it a little bit. It does me. seep into it a little bit, but storytelling is what is the difference, in my opinion. You hundred percent. So, because you can look at a movie like. Raging Bull, which is made around the same time. And that movie fucking goes. Even though it's a, probably longer than both those movies, mm-hmm. the the storyline is intriguing and in, in engaging because of how good Martin Scorsese is at telling stories. Mm-hmm. Whereas Rocky, like that was Sylvester Stallone's first script he wrote. Mm-hmm. And who directed Rocky? Um, not Erwin Winkler. Maybe it was Erwin Winkler. I think he produced it. I think Stallone might have directed it. No? Did Stallone direct it? Might have. Let me see. But, uh, like, the thing about the Superman movies is, and I, I haven't watched them since I was a kid. But John be- G. Avildsen. Oh. But, I mean, looking back, Rocky was a Stallone vehicle. Yeah. That was, like, yeah. you know, nothing so was- to take away from the director, but that. Right. Movie floated because of Stallone, and but but like you said, the the it is painfully slow at times. Oh yeah, and that's like in in Superman, it's not even just the special effects or anything like that. The storytelling is just so bland and and just you know you have a great character in Lex Luthor. I don't know why they made him li- like he's supposed to be this brilliant genius and his fortress is cool as fuck where he's in the subway do you remember do you, did you ever see the christopher reeves superman no oh no. so he's I got never this gene superman. hackman plays lex luther yeah oh okay so gene hackman plays lex luther and he's got this like underground like it's in like an old abandoned subway it's got like library like he's got books and books and books and he's got this swimming pool created out of like a stairwell which like as a kid i'm like that's the coolest thing and i watch as an adult i'm like that makes <laughs> like so little sense to have a swimming pool 
in this and like to be able to make that functional would have been uh, way more expensive than just buying uh, an apartment because he was trying to save money or something. So it's just <laughs> there's a lot of silly shit. I in think that movie. it goes it goes to back to just Superman is kind of a very 1940s 1950s. And it's a very childish superhero. Yeah, it's a mid century. It yeah. is very much like an idealistic America that wasn't broken character. Right, and it it's also has to do with the fact that. The evolution of Superman has always been difficult to deal with because he's always been so powerful. So they're like trying to show his humanity because he's sad because he's by like or is you know he's a orphan or what whatever try whatever thing they try to do to make Superman emotional never really works uh, in those movies or even in the comics. Like the honestly the the. Third Superman movie with Richard Pryor is the best one. Yeah. I think that one's the fucking best. I mean, best. that's the one, that's the only one that people still talk about to this day because I, I and I haven't seen it. I've seen it like once when I was a kid. Yeah. So, but everyone talks about how fun it was and how, like, kind of just, you know. I mean, it's, it's over the top in a lot of ways, but it's also the one where you get to see, like, there's a bad version of Superman where he gets uh, infected with. Bizarro. Uh, that's what I was gonna. Not, ask. It's Bizarro. not Bizarro. It's like kind of a play off of Bizarro, but he, he uh, gets infected with uh, synthetic kryptonite, and that just like turns him into like kind of an asshole, and he rules. <laughs> but that's the problem because he's too. He's, he's a Boy Scout. Like, yeah. He's, yeah. It's it's always been the problem even back in the day with the Superman is like you can't create a character that has all the moves and all the powers. Yeah. And is literally not a human being. Yeah. So it's like you end up with like sort of this Jesus type character right, with exactly. no real connection to humanity and stuff. Yeah, and it's which like, is what you get in the the Superman Returns, the Brian Singer one, where it's just like it is absolutely just a Messiah complex type movie. Well, also which, someone brought up the point. They go, Superman doesn't throw one punch in the entire movie. No, he doesn't throw one in. The it's f- like the most boring movie I've ever seen in my entire the, the, life. He doesn't throw a punch in the first movie either. No, but I'm saying, you know, Batman or Re- uh, Superman Returns came out what, like 2006? Six. Six? Yeah. So it, you know, in 2006, he, he knew better. Of, it's the modern, it's the modern era of, of era of like action movie making. I know yeah. that, that the Marvel universe wasn't a thing yet, but you still. You, had Batman you have to know already. that audiences had, yeah. need to be fed like quick cuts and yeah. action and like shit going on. And that movie was just kind of like we found this dude that's six foot four that looks exactly like Superman. Yeah. So here you go. And then it's just like, you know, like and then it, 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 it's it, I, I just think in the modern age when we have access to action, you know, they, they've. They've floated enough good superhero movies with great stories to them and through like these billion dollar budgets behind them, you know. So how do you fix Superman? You, I think I have an idea. Okay. Uh, Superman I'm all ears. I'm goes to college and he finally like he he's not as farm boy like he he's having fun in college and he fucks a girl and when he comes, it kills her. And it gives him this whole complex. Like, oh man, every time I I, I never be able to Coming a girl, because uh-huh. because it he comes so hard. Can he can he do like a like fa- facial or something or is it? It would blow their head right off. Blow their head. But that's the problem. I didn't know if it was the, just the, inside of her. The I don't problem, know. like that's the problem <laughs> with 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 Superman is like the second you have him do anything cool or dark or fun, it's not Superman. Like he's supposed to stand. For everything that's pure and good about humanity. What's more pure than procreation? Now, in Superman Returns, he does have a child, so I guess he does figure it out. But he's got to like <laughs> that. He's got to like he's got to jerk off three hundred times. I mean, so that only just uh, he has a little dribbler come out. I I think like Man of Steel honestly is like <laughs> who right. wouldn't watch that movie? <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. Like, Superman's like, boring. I would not. Yeah, dude. It's you just it's too, when you have when you have even like Aquaman and yeah. they like turned Aquaman into just like Jason Momoa and he's like the bad boy and stuff. Yeah. And you have Batman and you like it's just Superman is just kind of like. All right, dude. Like, yeah, he's, all right, he's, man. He's, he's not vulnerable enough. Let me guess. You're gonna you're gonna get punched three million times, but you're still you're invincible. Nothing's gonna so. happen, and no one can hurt you. I will you say, can... Man of Steel was fucking sick, though. That movie I thought was honestly sick because they yeah, just I, I, it's I, 
the 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 back half of that movie is literally everything exploding and Batman and Zod or Superman and Zod well, beating the shit out of each other. That's that's the funny thing about the uh, Superman two is like you have that big downtown fight scene and he's fighting Zod and the other Kryptonians and like them getting thrown through buildings and through trucks and stuff like that is so comically bad because they just didn't they hadn't done that before so yeah. there's nothing to pull from yeah they didn't have the cgi that they could make it uh so it's just it's very funny how many uh boxes are in this downtown i have to watch it again <laughs> now I, now that that actually kind of makes me want to watch it because that it, it sounds like a godzilla movie at that point it really is yeah. it really is that sounds fun yeah you know, it is i mean like okay i know what i was I, not to cut you off i know what i was trying to get at was the um, the willing suspension of disbelief you have to bring to the table for Superman, just in every at regard yeah. in this day and age, it's just too much. It's yeah. like, okay, like number one, no one buys fucking newspapers anymore. This guy works at the Daily Planet, and he's he puts his son his glasses on, and we no, all yeah. we have to remember, <laughs> yeah. no one knows it's Superman, you know. And it's like it's funny. Although and there it's is cute. a meme where Zoe Deschanel has her glasses and her bangs, and then they show her. With a different haircut and no glasses, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> so <laughs> that, there's there's a probability that you could. The bridge get away is with too that. far. Like the yeah. delta is just too wide. Even in Man of Steel, where the, at the end of that movie they kind of go into explaining how he's going to live amongst humans as Clark Kent, and yeah. it's kind of just like, all right, I guess, man. And I love look. I go to watch movies because I don't want I want to believe everything. Right. And I want to forget. Like we about were watching reality. the Flash, having a good time. But of course, he can run fast enough to I go back in, in time. I lean into you like fifteen yeah. minutes into that movie, and I go, "Why did this take nine shitty DC movies for them to get this dynamic right?" Dude, you know, so fun, so it was fun. like so Batman fun. in the middle of the day, like he kind of had the blue and gray costume, yeah. and it looked like mm -hmm. like there was no nighttime scenes in that entire movie. Yeah, like it was fun. Yeah, like someone I was reading, and I hate being this guy, but like. Twitter, go figure, was tearing that movie apart. Where they're like, do you realize the first third of that movie is just Looney Tunes action devices? I go, yeah. Yes, and it's, it's fucking yeah, it fun. That's great. what we want. It's a movie about a guy in red pajamas that can run super fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think I want to sit there and like watch him go through an existential crisis and do unfun things? Yeah. Right. <laughs> No, I want to watch him put babies in microwaves. Dude, I thought there was. I saw I that. Loved it. I saw like a tweet before I saw the movie where I saw that, and I th I thought for sure someone just they did a weird edit. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm like, I just go, okay, that's like a super Those... weird fifth wave meme video uh -huh. thing to make, and then it actually happened. I go, oh, this movie fucking rules. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm like, 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 what a fun like over the top. Intro, like Intro, to the movie, yeah, yeah. 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 It like, was very. That's all I. Yeah. Were, that's all I ask. Like they put out so many of those DC movies where it was joyless and it was work. Just even before the opening credits ended, you just knew you were in for right. the chore of a lifetime to follow it. And that movie, nope. Like, yeah, you know, it was, just, it was it moved fast. They it jumped was fun. Right there were some it. laughs. Ezra Miller, who is a dirtbag, was enjoyable as Barry Allen. I wish they were not a fuck. Yeah. Um, I, I I believe. That we live in a forgiving society, and I would like to see them turn it around. Yeah. And I believe yeah. they will. Yeah, because, I think so too. That'd be because, good. like, I don't like they've done some some pretty awful things. <laughs> um, but Seems you know, almost alcohol fuel. Like, I feel it like definitely the, 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 alcohol I, like, and mental. Oh yeah, mental yeah. health, Stability, drug related yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. And I don't. I, I, think, I think they can get. You know, those are like, things that are redeemable. Yeah. For sure. That's what I'm saying, and also. Okay. I'm sorry, the movie was that good. I go, I don't. Let's give it's let's fine. give this person a chance. Right. <laughs> uh, and, that, and then the the cameos, I think, were honestly the wildest cameos. I think I oh, can ever yeah, remember seeing. Oh yeah, for sure. And like, I love them. Yeah, it, 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 I and, just I just thought it was a fucking fun and movie. Michael Keaton being back and Dude, like so just good. he was he was so great. I love Michael Keaton. Barry Allen's my type. I think, guys. Tommy, yeah, that's here's your the thing. You are absolutely when it comes to your type. Oh yeah, you let's have, have a talk. A lot of, you have let's a lot have of a talk types. real quick. I do. Uh, what? <laughs> No, because you always say you have a type, but then... Don't. And then they're all not the same at yeah, all. Yeah, which, 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 <laughs> no, which is why I never say I have a type. I mean, you literally really texted us yeah. two weeks ago, and you're like, I'd fuck Tim Robinson. So, like, <laughs> I don't... Oh, wait. Did I say yep. that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, I think you, go, you goes, guys, I think I want to fuck Tim Robinson. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it's fine. I, hey, yeah, listen, I guess I don't really have a type, but he's fuck. just dorky. I love him. Yeah. Very young. 
He's like, but he's like a hot dork. He's a hot they, dork. He, they're a dork. So like, well, we're talking about Barry. Right? Barry, yeah. Yeah. Barry, yeah. And not Ezra. I mean, Ezra yeah. is also hot, but I, I was speaking but Barry, of Barry. Barry. Yeah. Barry's a yeah. he, him. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Ezra's a they. Ezra's a they them. Yes. Okay. Um, so, yes, both. But both are beautiful. But you would fuck both Barry type. or Ezra. All right. If would Ezra wasn't say, punching, wait, wait. if would, Ezra would, wasn't beating people up. <laughs> would yes. you say Barry is better than Ezra? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. I get it. Yeah. That was so good. So good. Wow, 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 wow. All right. All right. Uh, let's bring it back in. All right. Let's do one more thing and then we'll get out of here. All right. You get to choose from three Batmans Michael Keaton, mm-hmm. Ben Affleck, and uh, George Clooney. Fuck, Mary Kill. Wait, who? Which? Hold on. Which one? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Too many things. Michael Keaton. Yeah. Ben Affleck and uh, Clooney. Clooney. I am. Um, <sighs> you only fuck one. The Batman, like as Batman, not the actor. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to kill. They're they're all Bruce Wayne, but they're just different Bruce Waynes. We're gonna kill George. You're killing George. Yeah, we're gonna He's kill George. He's in your George. favorite Batman movie. I know, but we're gonna kill George. Wow. We're gonna marry. Bye bye nipples. We're gonna marry Ben. Okay. And then we have who did Ben's we? got abs now. We said, so "Oh, Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton. We're fucking Michael Keaton." Okay. Yeah. 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 Hmm. yeah. No. Is this a weird? No, turn? no. It's okay. an inspired no. choice. All right. Yeah. All right. Do I have anybody to fuck else? Mary? Fuck? Or that was oh, just me. I'll, I'll do guys? it. I'll okay. Do go it. ahead. Uh, go ahead. Feels <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I'm going to uh, fuck Ben Affleck just because then I'm like Eskimo siblings with J Lo. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to marry Michael Keaton and also kill George Clooney. Yeah. yeah okay. Guess, yeah. I'm fucking Clooney. Are you? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, a it's a hard fuck. one. It's yeah. a hard one. That guy's that guy's if that guy was, was like looks, a lifelong yeah. single bachelor. That guy was a real life Bruce Wayne guy for many years. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and then just to to deviate from you two, I would f- fuck Ben Affleck, even though I like Ben Affleck, and then I would. You, 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 fuck, you, you fucked two guys already. I'm gonna, that's how much I want to fuck. <laughs> Who are you killing? Oh, you're, no, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm fucking ben? Clooney. Fucking Clooney, killing, ben? marrying Keaton is what I meant to say. Okay. Marrying Keaton. Okay. Killing Ben. Okay. Damn. Have you seen that picture of him going around? Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill a guy? <laughs> I, because you're just, again, because it's just I don't want to give you the same options that you guys threw out there. So to me, Whatever. and also I'm, a, I'm an aging man myself. I'm getting some silver. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Whip that dick out, George. <laughs> show, show him what you got. And then, um, I don't know, because Michael Keaton is just like, he's Michael Keaton. Yeah, he's, yeah. Did we, we all go- marry Michael Keaton? Yeah. No, we did. I think you fucked Michael Keaton. Yeah, yeah. You married Ben Affleck. Yeah. Yeah, and you killed George. I meant Clinton. to do the, the opposite, but it was fine. <laughs> it's, it's too fine. late now. I know it is it's what it now. is. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw um, uh, Ben's been watching his carbs. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he also, uh, if you've seen Gone Girl, you see some peen in that. He's, yeah. He's got a hog there. Is it real, though? Is that his? I think so. Hmm. I'm going to believe. I will believe, too. I'll believe. All right. Fucking That's it for ben. this week's episode. Uh, we appreciate you guys checking it out. Make sure you like and subscribe and share and comment and uh, tell every person you know to listen to this. Uh, Tommy, you got anything? Uh, Tommy LC, Twitter, Instagram, OnlyFans. Buy my shit. Pants. Just come on down to Old 86 in Detroit Shoreway, Old 86 Bar on Instagram. Yeah. There you go, and I'll have some uh, stuff up on BillSquire.com for upcoming shows. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.